I want to make this, this is very important because I've seen a lot of people having very unrealistic expectations from trading because these fake gurus, I call them furu, I, I coined that phrase, furu, F-U-R-U, a fake guru. A lot of these fake gurus, they sh all they do is, you can tell a fake guru by their Instagram. Their Instagram is nothing but fancy cars, watches, lifestyle, all that. Where is the trading videos? Where are the trading screens? Where's your office? Do you trade? Or do you just make money off of other people? And so, so it, it, it just, I'm trying to compose myself because these, this topic really upsets me because it sucks for the, for the guys I really want to learn. They have these very unrealistic expectations. Sure, Bitcoin, put all your money in, it'll go 10x. But that's Bitcoin, that's crypto, that's shit coins. You can do the same thing for penny stocks. Same exact concept for penny stocks as altcoins and all that stuff. So I don't even talk about that because that's not realistic in my opinion for consistency. Those are gambling. Sure, it pays off when you're right. 90% of the people will lose all their money. 10% will make money. But that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to teach you a consistent. MIC is here to teach you a consistent trading strategy that you can make money consistently. And I'm going to show you exactly how. Because a lot of people have unrealistic unrealistic expectations. They come and they go, within a week, like, wear Lambo. So we, we made that kind of phrase kind of famous as well, wear Lambo. Like, you know, you join and you expect to make a Lamborghini the first week or the first day of trading, right? And if you don't, you quit. Um, those are the alert services. Alert services, they pump and they dump. The reason that those guys are making money is they're the first person buying these low float stocks. So whoever is running the pump and dump room, of course they're going to fucking make money. They make money because you guys are the sheep. You guys are pushing prices up. So we don't want to do that. So I'm going to talk to you. So I'm going to first show you. So I, I mean, I trade with multiple accounts, some bigger than others. I have one small account that I trade. I'm going to show you how I did that today, guys, and how you can have realistic expectations of making real money, real trading money, not being a sheep. No alerts. We don't alert. We guide. We give watch lists. You know, we, we tell you what we're trading an hour before the market opens. There are people here that want to genuinely teach you how to trade, to become a self-sufficient trader, not just who is the fastest sheep running around, right guys? So I usually do not post a p and Does For me, the process means everything, guys. But today I'm gonna show you, okay? I'm gonna show you because I trade on a small account to show you this, because Alex told me, man, people are having way too much unrealistic expectations. So here we go. So this is just one account. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, sh I see. There is only 33,000. So barely made over the PDT. PDT is over 25,000. The brokers need 27,000. So we keep a small amount in here and we make a certain amount, we take it out. So this is the process that we teach at MIC. So with something like this, I made a ton of mistakes today, guys. I got out early, I took some losses and I still managed to make 1,300 bucks. This is, in the grand scheme of things, this is nothing. But if, imagine, imagine if you do this every day on the average. Some days I'll make 3000 some days I'll lose 1000 But the average, okay, let's say you make an average of $1,300 a day. That is life-changing money for most people, guys. That is life-changing money for most people. This is nothing to brag about, but you know what, man? For a normal person in the world, having a supplemental income on top of their job of $1,000 a day means everything, okay? And if you take a look, and I'll, talk, I'll show you exactly how I did that today. Today was a very slow day too, guys. I traded multiple accounts today, but that's the account that I showed you because that's a small account. Look at that, guys. All you need is $200 on the average to make $50,000. Who here would, not, would, would love to have an extra 50 grand a year? I think everybody would. You know, you go to the normal day job. I'm not, talking, I'm not telling you to quit your job, guys. I'm telling you to supplement your income. If you can make $200 a day, in my opinion, simple as $200 a day, that's life changing. The reason I call that life changing because I remember when I was, you know, growing up poor or even the middle class, having $200 a day extra means I can go into any restaurant I want and order pretty much whatever food I want, unless you want to go to a fancy place. But you know, you, you go to a normal restaurant, it's $100 you're paying, right? 
And so you imagine being able to walk into a steakhouse and paying $200 for that steak. And you can do this every day. Of course, you're not going to go out every day, but that to me is life-changing money. $200 a day, $50,000 a year pays for your rent, pays for your mortgage, pays for your car, pays for your living expenses, guys. So people don't understand, man. They, they go out there rush to make millions of dollars. And think about this. You make $200 a day consistently. Of course, you can make $500, $1,000. But this is the part I'm talking about. You must be able to make $200 a day consistently, okay? Don't start trying to make thousands of dollars a day, okay? $200 a day is the blueprint for thousands of dollars a day. I, I mean, I, in my sleep, I, not, I, mean, I don't want to say this, but pretty much, guys, every day I could do this. The problem is this is not enough for me, obviously, because my lifestyle is much more than this. So it depends on you. But the point is the process works. You need to be disciplined, okay? It's the discipline that, it's the lack of discipline that kills everybody in trading. And so if you take a look at this again, your, your goal may be just a thousand to get to the point where you're making a quarter million a year of a thousand dollars a day. So with this $30,000 account, guys, I can make a quarter million. If I just stop trading at zombie hours, I don't make any stupid mistakes. I keep to the risk management that MIC teaches me. Guys, this is a slow day too. And I'll show you everything, right? The commission I paid, ECN rebate. I didn't trade many shares. 1300 bucks. This is a, and I will show you, I even lost two things. This is small size, guys, I did on a small account. You know, I'm not trading with a $500 account trying to scam people to think that you can grow a $500 account into millions of dollars. Those are the scammers. Anybody showing you $500 account to a million dollars is a scammer, dude. I don't care what the hell they say. You, you personally cannot do it. They do it because they have sheep. They're the first to buy in and all that stuff, guys. And so think about this, man. If I can make this on this little account and you have more money, you can do whatever you want to do, man. I mean, I, I wasn't even pushing size, and this is a slow day. And so with this, I could probably make $3,000 a day, guys, on the average. Um, depends on the market, obviously, right? But realistically, that's what, what you can do. Using small size, I'm going to show you the trades once again. So this is you know, NES. All I'm doing is I'm trading line to line. I'm doing my scalps. There's many ways to trade, okay? I traded, this is a slow day, so I just did small scalps on these stocks. And I took a loss. The, the key is, once again, guys, let me, let me show you. Let me put my mouse here. Where's my mouse? The key is when you lose, you need to stop out. So AMC, I stopped out for a tiny loss. I lost $150 on this account. Okay, this is AMC. It went up, sure, but you know what, man? I'm cool with taking a $150 loss. I'm still up $1,300. Uh, another one I lost was BFRI. I lost $35 on this stock. I covered it for pretty much even. After I, because the reason I covered it is, is look at the time, 10.30. That is the zombie hour rule, 10.30. At 10.30, I'm like, dude, I'm not going to take a chance I am just going to break even on it. Sure enough, it's zombied up to nearly $8. So I, if I didn't stop out during the zombie hour, I would have stopped out at the top. Instead, I broke even and it went back down. Who cares? Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Who cares? I protected my money. This thing could have went up to $10. Who the hell knows? Okay. It tanked down. The markets were weak. It tanked down, who knows? But if I can do this consistently every day, guys, I'm just making my small money every freaking day. And once again, guys, this is a small account. This is a day that's super slow. This is a day that was tricky, okay? You have stocks that are running around trapping people. Take a look at, look at GRTX. I screwed this one up too, and I still made money. Let me see. This is, um, so here's GRTX. I do my little trades. You know, these are 500 shares, not much because this is a small account. I don't want to, you know, man, my goal is just to make $1,000 on this small account, guys, 1000 today. Uh, I, don't, I do not come to the market with a P&L expectation, guys. Okay, take what the process gives you. You can increase your size if you want. 
okay? But imagine if you can do this every day. It's like, I was done at 10 a.m. There were some straggler stocks that I, I was covering at 10.30, but I was pretty much done at 10 a.m., guys. 10 a.m. is most of my stuff. So I, I took one loss on this back. I shorted, so I shorted this and actually held some, and it, it, it zombied, it zombied. So I was short, and I was holding half a position for a low where it did not go, and then I added when it went back here, and I covered, I took the loss here. Otherwise, I'd be up a lot more money. So this stock, I actually lost a little money because I was holding for, for more. And then, of course, it tanks, but who cares? I made money on it. I made, I made easy, consistent money on it. Guys, this is the real expectation, okay? Imagine if I made, <clears throat> so I made on that small account $1,300 and I stopped trading at 10. I stopped trading. I could have kept on going and made more. But the point is this, man. If you keep doing the same repeatable process, repeatable over and over, why are you risking it? So Alex stops at 1030 and he's up over $3 million shorting this year. Over 3 million trading the first hour. If I just stop on this account at 10.30, because the easiest trades were short or in the beginning when we pre play out trades, zombie hours come and they trap everybody. If you just stop, you follow the MIC process with a $30,000 account. In my opinion, you can make a thousand bucks a day, guys. The, the, the pro, look at James, he's trading a small account. He's making, we have so many people doing this, guys. The difference is they are realistic with their expectation. They don't come into the market asking for a Lamborghini. And you know what, man, James made, and I think his first uh, full-time, once he learned the MIC process, he made uh, money to buy his dream car, a BMW i8. We have a video on that, guys. Maybe Alex can find the video, or Tom Diesel, says he's our, my, my historian. Find the video on James. Uh, we, we had a, a video on James talking about he, he making money to buy his dream car. And all James does is make 800,000, 800,000 every single day. Once again, it adds up, guys. Imagine you can do this. Save your bankroll. Soon, let's say you start with a $200 level. So first year, you made 50 Gs. Next year, you make 100 Gs. Then the following year, you make this. And then now you'll be Alex after five years being consistent trader, making a million a year. It is possible. We have done it. We have done this for decades. The key is this. Notice it doesn't take much to make big money. Consistency is the key. Gains add up quick when you do not have big swings, losses. That's why we have risk management, guys. The, the key, the key that people do not teach you, the scammers, the furus, the fake ass gurus, the key they don't teach you is risk management. They don't tell you that you got to take a loss. The first thing they teach you when you take martial arts is how to take a punch, how to take a loss. You need to be able to roll the punches or be able to fall down while breaking your neck. Self-defense. If you ask any expert in football, championship teams, how do they win? Defense. Defense wins championships. That is risk management, okay? Every sports team, every sports team, the key is defense. Sure, you can score, but if you cannot, but if you can score, but then you can lose everything back in one day. What the hell? You see a lot of people on Twitter blow up. They probably don't even talk about their losses at all. They have no risk management. We teach risk management. We talk about, we Alex even bribed people for risk management. You must set up your max daily loss. Take a look at this. Zombie again, E-S-C-C. -C. What time? 10 fucking 30. This is why, this is why you follow the rules. Sure, 1,300 ain't nothing. There are guys making 50,000, $100,000 a day, but that's fine. They're trading with multi-million dollar accounts. They're trading, they're putting tens of millions of dollars on the line. That's not you. Why are you falling guys that are not you? I am teaching you, MIC is teaching you, Alex is teaching you. The moderators are teaching you. The members are teaching you the process of a normal guy, how to do it. You can make, man, the watch list is there. I don't understand why people do not use the watch list. You can make back your, your membership so quickly, so easily, if you just follow what we tell you guys. It's, it's, 
I, I just don't, I don't know what else to say. I, I trade with a large account, I'll show you guys. I trade with a small, uh, a, a big account, I'll show you guys. I trade, the point is it's the same process. You just add more size when you're comfortable, but adding more size when you do not have the proper bankroll and when you do not have the proper experience will blow your account because, it's not because of the wins. Of course, if you add more size and you win, it's easy. The problem is when you lose with big size, you cannot take the loss because you will freeze. If you're looking at a $10,000 loss, you need to eat that $10,000 loss. But as a new trader, that's a lot of money for you. You have not, that will wipe out 30 of your account. You shouldn't even get to the point where you have a $10,000 loss, guys. Okay, your max day loss should be around three days. I don't know who these people are. I'm, I'm gonna start banning anybody that, um, that are, that are posting, in, I think they're bots that are posting in some sort of weird language that's not <laughs> English, okay guys? Arabic or whatever it is. So, so guys, um, any questions? I wanna stop here and take any questions. Consistency is the key, risk management is the key. Have realistic expectations. Fucking thousand dollars a day. You're not happy with thousand dollars a day? I just don't understand it, right? I'm gonna start removing people, guys. Uh, just, just don't speak in other languages, because I think there are bots. Um, watch list is gold. Tom's watch list. You know, so you know, there's many different ways to trade. Alex trades a certain style. I trade a certain style. Tom trades a certain style. You know, within MIC, you there's one style that may help you. And dude, I mean, realistically, guys, this this is is not rocket science. Uh, actually, it's it's harder. <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, rocket science is actually pretty hard. <laughs> I was an engineer. But um, all you need to do is just have discipline, follow the process, have realistic expectations, and it adds up, man. This adds up. Imagine you make a thousand dollars, guys, and you do that five days in a row. That's five thousand fucking dollars, man. Now you now you're thinking you do that consistently for one month. Yeah, that's like ten thousand, twenty thousand. Just make a thousand dollars a day. Challenge yourself to make. $200 a day consistently. Just challenge yourself, guys. And you'll see it adds up quick. And you'll see less stress. And you'll see that when when you're in a groove in your pattern, risk management, I mean, that's that's the key, guys. You can make tens of thousands a day, but you, but if you take a fucking hundred thousand million dollar loss, that's a lot of money. And we see that, we see that all the time. But, you know, the hardest part Trading, in my opinion, is not the making money. It's when you lose that you don't give everything back. I'll give you another example we talk about all the time. Um, imagine you go to the casino and you're able to look at the player's cards and the dealer's cards before you, you bet on blackjack. That's the same thing with stocks. Why are you betting on a low, on a bad hand, on a bad setup? It's your job to wait to be disciplined. This is why we always talk about pre-planning. Uh, I plan all my trades before they open. That's why I make money. The plan includes where to enter and where to exit for both a winner and a loss. And the, when, when you start losing is when you start having this winging it, making it up on the fly because you you have cushion. When you have cushion, you're like, oh, I want to. But cushion is bleeding every day. Matt, so an exa same example is, hey, hey what, what, who's talking all this stuff? I'm going to start blocking people, man. Um, when you start losing two hundred dollars a day, you're like, "Oh, that's only two hundred. That's that's bleeding. You're bleeding fifty G's a year. So the same concept, guys. Making money, losing money, bleeding money. You have to be consistent and remove that. So I'm walking away today. I had, I traded two accounts. <clears throat> I made more in today in one hour than I did my first job as an engineer, guys. I traded two accounts, one small account, another account, and I made more money. So the blueprint for a thousand dollar day <laughs> comes from a two hundred dollar day. And the blueprint to make $5,000 a day is the same as $1,000 a day. You won't reach a maximum, guys, I guarantee you. Uh, when you reach a maximum, you know what to do. Uh, you, you probably don't need my help by then. So, um, and look at Alex, up three, he's a testimonial, guys. Okay, uh, maybe next year we'll start an account where we just leave it there so you can see, see it at work, like what happens when you stop at $1 million. Um, I mean, start, I mean, stop at one hour and you can make a million dollars a year. And, you know, we can do that too. But, uh, uh, that's not the point. The point is I'm not here to flash, to not, not here to brag. I'm here to tell you realistic expectations that made me money that how I started this tweet goes back. My goodness. 2007. 
before MIC, where I tell people it's the consistent guys. That's what I did for a living. I have spreadsheets to show you this. I was the first person to talk about this during Traders for a Cause when I was inaugural year. I mean, this, this, I mean, I, I just don't know what to tell you guys. If you, if you have realistic, and the way you have realistic expectation, guys, numbers on the screen, just like chips in the casino are meaningless. It's what it buys and represents. So if you take a look, so that's why I like to go Amazon sometimes. And I, I start like, I always say like online shopping is cheaper than forcing bad trades out of boredom. And it's true because on Amazon, I'm like, dude, uh, should I buy this? It's like a hundred dollars, right? Like, should I buy this t-shirt? It's like a fucking hundred dollar t-shirt. But why are you gambling that hundred dollars away? Hundred dollars is a lot. Hundred, two hundred dollars is a lot of money, guys. You know, you imagine if you just make that every day. That adds up and you go to your day job. And that's all we ask. We all we ask from you guys is to be disciplined, to have realistic expectations. So I hope that helped, guys. Uh, I'm going to take a couple questions, then I'll log off. Any questions? You want me, I can bring a person on. Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you want to come on. I'm going to start removing some of these guys, man. I, I think there's bots just talking back and forth. And if you're not a bot... You shouldn't be cursing on here. Raise your hand who wants to be, come on guys. Let me see, I see who's real. Oh, that's the hair. I see your face around. <laughs> What's up, boss? Where you, where you at? Where are you and where you at? What's up? Hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. What's up? <laughs> Tell everybody who you are and all that good stuff, man. My name is Daniel. And I've been in MIC for, I think, a year and a half now. Maybe a year, a year and a half. Are you at work right now? No, no, no. Um, it's my dad's store. Oh, okay, because you have a mask I'm on. Out, I thought you were out. Yeah. I'm outside right now and kind of, you know, crappy here. So I got to put no, the mask on. No problem. So tell everybody, um, how are you doing? What, like, how has that... What did you learn in MIC and how, how that helped you or did help you? <laughs> I first started um, investing, long-term investing. And then I switched to, I'm still doing that. And I switched to um, trading now. And I love your, um, I started learning your um, first down strategy. I love that. The long, yep, yep. Yes. And I'm usually from Canada, which... They don't have that broker that allows you to short. I had trade zero, but right now I'm ha I'm guessing they're having problem with Canada. So I'm not shorting right now. I'm doing I'm going long now with interactive brokers and all that good stuff. And mainly I'm doing first downs. I learned that from Harry. Shout out to Harry, my man. I haven't talked to him, but I seen his uh, video a lot in your video. I love it. Awesome. So you just need a hit and run, right? That's that's the strategy. You hit and you run. Yes, yes. Pick singles. That adds up. Like you're saying today, you know, small gains adds up. Correct, man. That's exactly how it is. So what yes. what are you looking to learn in the future? Are you comfortable where you are? Uh, talk about like how you started. Are you sizing up slowly? Uh, how how is that coming along? The you know, truth you is. I'm a bit scared to size up because I had a big loss, like a thousand dollar. That's big to me. Yes. So I learned that from that, not to size up, take it slowly. Yes. Like consistently grow your account. And then if you're like comfortable with it, then you size up. Correct. But I'm right now I'm using like max of 250, uh, 500 shares. That's my that, max that's size. That's enough, man. <laughs> yes. Yes. You your $200, $300 a day, you're good. <laughs> Yes. Exactly, man. That, I love that, guys. Uh, 
that's that's the thing you don't understand. In order, when you size up, it's not just yeah. it's exponential worse. So, but you have so tell us about your risk management. What have you done to protect yourself? I actually set up um, max daily loss on my trade zero account. Like you guys always preach about it. I love it. That saved my life. <laughs> my <laughs> account. <laughs> how many yes. how many days average do you set for the max daily loss? What do you mean? Uh, one day. No, oh. that's 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 even good. That's that's very tight. That's good. So like, like uh, once again, the vaccine loss is up to you on what you're comfortable with it. Um, yes. So Daniel says, oh, I am only willing to risk one day of losses. Yes. You know that's yes. fine. Some people don't do more than three guys. <laughs> Three's a yes. lot. So, so just so. like I, I, Alex was talking about, always risk one day of profit. Yeah. That, that, I love that, guys. That that will save yeah. your – because what happens is this. When we lose, you can be the most disciplined trader in the world, but something may trigger. And all of a sudden, yeah. you're crazy for that one moment. And then you go, oh, my God, I regret it, right? Yeah. So it, so it yes. keeps We're you human. <laughs> so I love that, guys. Max the loss. You need that because you don't want one bad moment of your life to ruin it, right? So, And that's that's why I think you're you're now successful because you yeah. won't thousand dollars anymore, right? So yeah. before 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 you lost that uh, back then when you lost a thousand is because you didn't have a max that you lost right. Right. You saved so. my life, my account. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate you, Daniel. We'll Thank see you, you very much bit. for that. Thanks. Happy from Canada. Where in Canada are you? Right now, I'm in South America, but I'm usually from Toronto. Oh, Canada. okay, cool. Great, man. Have fun over in South America, wherever you are. All right, boss. Stay safe, Later. brother. Thanks, boss. All right, there you have it, guys. I I'm going to log off of this. Um, Daniel preached exactly what it is, man. Small gains add up. Uh, max daily loss. Risk management is the key. Um, that's it, guys. Any, any other questions you want to have? A couple quick questions I can log off. But um, guess we're going to say goodbye. I want to keep this video short, guys. All right, guys. We'll see you back in the room. Thanks, Daniel.